Hello everyone, today we're going to make shepherd's pie. So we've to put a pound of ground beef in the frying pan. We're going to brown it up and uh, we'll uh, show you the end result in a few minutes. If the uh, temperature is set to medium and uh, we'll see you shortly. So what we've done is we've chopped up the beef a little bit so it'll cook more efficiently. And uh, at this point in time, it's just a matter of uh, browning the beef. So what we've done is we got frozen vegetables that we'll put in with the meat. You can use any frozen vegetables that you wish. Or if you want to cut up fresh vegetables to put in with the meat, that's fine too. And I'll show you uh, how long we put the uh, fresh, oh, sorry, the frozen vegetables in the microwave just to uh, heat them up a little bit. So I had mentioned before about putting the vegetables in the microwave. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. We kind of changed gears a little bit, which is fine. That's part of cooking. And we put it in with the heated meat. And what we'll do is we'll stir everything together and uh, just keep progressing. So what we've done is we put three quarters of a cup of water in and there's a shepherd spice that we picked up from the grocery store and we've mixed that in and uh, what we're doing is letting this simmer for uh, five minutes and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, segment. So what we've done is put in a cup and a half of water, two tablespoons of butter, and we'll let this uh, boil so we can make our instant mashed potatoes. So our meat's browned and our corn is cooked and the mixture you put in is okay. It's just five minutes. And uh, we put a layer of beef and our favorite vegetables in. And uh, we're just waiting for instant uh, mashed potatoes to uh, uh, put on top. And uh, we'll catch up with you in the next segment. So what we've done here is put a half a cup of milk in with our instant potatoes stirred around so it's a nice creamy mixture and we're going to put it in for uh, five minutes and uh, just stir it around so it doesn't get um, the stick to the pan. So what we've also done is we've shredded some cheese to put over top of our uh, potatoes when they're done. So the five minutes have gone up and what we did was we gave it a quick stir and just fluffing the potatoes. So what we did was we took the mashed potatoes that we just fluffed up, put that over the meat, and uh, made it look nice and pretty. And uh, the cheese that we shredded, we'll put that over the top, make it look nice and pretty. And then what we'll do is we'll put it in the oven for 350 for half an hour and uh, we'll see you with the finished product. So this is our shepherd's pie when it's all said and done. You can still hear the cheese sizzling. 
just give it some time to cool off. This will usually feed um, two people for maybe a day, depending upon how hungry you are. Um, I do recommend that if you have a large family, maybe doubling or even tripling the recipe. But for two people, sometimes we have like leftovers as well. I'm just trying to be in the cautionary side and um, thinking that, you know, if you make more, it probably lasts your lot longer. Anyways, uh, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate all my subscribers for helping support the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time when we cook something else up. See you in the next video. Bye for now.